The term algae in turf grass management refers to a symptom and also a group of organisms. For this video and the associated references, when we refer to algae, we are referring to the members of the cyanobacteria. These organisms are ancient and were the first organisms to have developed photosynthesis. Their fossils are the oldest known, dating back to 3.5 billion years. Humans have only been around for 200,000 years. The cyanobacteria must have devised some clever ways to compete and survive. Most plant pathologists do not consider cyanobacteria to be primary plant pathogens, organisms that are capable of turning otherwise healthy plants into sickly, chlorotic, and declining spots and bare patches. At Pace Turf, we consider cyanobacteria to be primary plant pathogens similar to other organisms such as the fairy ring fungi that damage plants just by their presence. The fairy ring fungi and algae pathogens are unlike more advanced plant pathogens such as the rust fungi that have a very close genetic interaction with their host plants. We speculate that the cyanobacteria damage plants by producing antibiotics that attack components of the plant's photosystem too. The exact same target that the herbicides atrazine and diuron inhibit. The cyanobacteria are known to produce these antibiotics and the antibiotics have been found to inhibit photosystem too when extracted from the cyanobacteria and applied to plants. The cyanobacteria can be imagined as tiny biological herbicide production machines. Normally, these antibiotics are targeted at other cyanobacteria to provide a competitive advantage. The turf plants are not the target. The turf plants are simply a substrate that the cyanobacteria use to control their access to sunlight. They move up the leaves in the dark in search of light and down the leaves during the day when the sunlight is too intense. For diagnostic purposes, we place samples in a dark place overnight. The cyanobacteria move up the plant in search of light and the trichomes accumulate at the leaf tip. In this photo, we see that the trichomes are trapped in a water droplet at the leaf tip in the same way that we observed free-living nematodes being trapped in dew droplets in a previous video. Once the trichomes move up the water droplet, they cannot get out. The leaf will be exposed to any antibiotics or herbicides that are produced by the cyanobacteria. The rest of this video will illustrate the movement of the cyanobacteria using a compound microscope. We have clocked the speed of trichomes at 0.25 inches per hour, but some others have measured trichomes at speeds of 1.2 inches per hour. Here's a sample we incubated overnight, and you can see the dark green trichomes starting to crawl up the plant and some trichomes further down on the thatch surface. Let's take this leaf and take a look at it under the compound scope. Here the trichomes are coming off the leaf in the upper right hand corner, and there's a trichome moving along the surface of the slide. Let me speed up the motion so that you can see this trichome moving a little bit more rapidly. Now after this trichome gets out of the uh, view, we're gonna have another one running across diagonally across the screen. Here you can see it moving along. And it's a pretty long one, so it takes a minute for it to get entirely across the field of view. There it goes. And then here's a couple of trichomes moving at normal speed, and I'm gonna speed it up in a second and we're gonna watch these two pass each other, going in opposite directions. And if you watch the trichome on the right, you'll see an area where it's about to divide, which is where it separates, just coming on the screen now. And then we'll also see it change directions and go back the other way, so they can move either forward or backward. Algae, cyanobacteria, whatever you call the disease caused by these primitive organisms, you have to appreciate the tenacity of these organisms and their creativity in production of photosystem to herbicides for the past 3.5 billion years. Refer to the links associated with this video for more information on the cyanobacteria.